insane is the challenge just makes it so funny like no lie because every time i listen to the song i automatically think about these are tiktok challenges even summer had jumped into it i know my girl was going through a lot during that time so it was really hard for her you know but she she still went on ahead and jumped into the challenge and all of that other stuff so i thought that was really cool and fun the next song we have is constant bs i do play this song let me tell you something i play this song that is my ish i felt like this song was kind of like a makeup song because insane was kind of like a broken song kind of like you're broken and you're trying to figure things out you don't understand what's going on but when it comes to this song i felt like it was kind of like we making up we kind of getting somewhere a little bit but it's still bs every time when you don't say what it is that you need to say because you're holding it in and it's like it's like a build up. So I feel like that's what was being explained. I could be wrong. I I, I like this song a lot. Yeah, I feel like this was kind of more of like a makeup song because even in, like in the beginning, it was saying like, I want to apologize. Was I wrong? Something about complaining too much for the pain and stuff like that. So that's why. The next song we have is Switch A In out we ain't gonna say that we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna say these words because you know be on youtube i play this song a lot i do well basically what she was saying was usually i don't take a person back like i'll switch and go to the next person like i'm not gonna sit here and deal with the same bs from you like the constant bs okay i'm not gonna put this up put up with this with you like i usually would just move on to the next thing but it's something about you that got me keep coming back to you and i don't stay and i don't deal with the nonsense so that's what I got from that song. I play this song very much often. That's what I got from the song. Now we're gonna go to the next one. So the next song we have is Unloyal with Ari Lennox. Yeah, it, this song is very much self-explanatory. <laughs> self-explanatory. This part, I feel like, this part I feel like, okay, now we done broke up again. We arguing again, we, we, we going at it. And I'm over you right now, you know? So I love, the entire song um i think they did beautiful they sung beautifully it was just very it gave me erica badu vibes and i feel like i really feel like this was a song that i probably could have heard or imagined erica badu doing tyrone vibes a little bit because it does sound like something that could have been on baduism love the whole bow wow do rag thing because i no i don't have a bow wow do rag because them Bow Wow do rags is expensive. So the next song we have is Closure. I feel like, I feel like all of us have our own definition of closure a lot of times. You have some people who need to have a conversation with that person to get closure. And then you have some people like me who just walk away and don't care anymore. The closure thing, I feel like a lot of times when people say they need closure, they just want an excuse to have a reason to come back. So I don't really like that word. I don't really like the definition of that word. I don't like the energy that comes behind that word. A lot of times when you have closure, when you try to go for closure, it just something always try to you know pulls you in and i feel like if you really done like you done you don't need to have no more conversations you just move on with your life and that's me but some people need to have that conversation and need that reassurance and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't the lyrics to the song really matches with this what the hell this word means okay every time i try to get closure i'm coming back to you know it brings me back to you you don't always need closure with the other person you just need closure within yourself okay allow yourself to feel heal and meditate within yourself forgive yourself and move on with your life so the next song we have is toxic um i don't know this is not really my favorite song like that i'm gonna be honest with you guys i don't really play this song too much um i don't hate it but I don't really play this song too much. I feel like I would have put another singer on it instead of Dirk. So toxic is like, okay, now we back together. Everybody in my ear telling me I shouldn't be dealing with you. Yeah, it's toxic. But I love it. So the next song we got is that right there. This is also another song that I tend to skip. I'll be honest with you guys. I don't really listen to it as often. From the lyrics, it is the beginning was very shady, but I liked it. <laughs> so yeah but y'all let me know how y'all feel about that song like i said i don't really listen to that one too much i listened to it when i heard the first listen to the album for the first time so the next song we have is screwing featuring omarion it's about sex <laughs> i like this i feel like omarion was the perfect fit for this song it did give me the vibe of his album the last one that he came out with sex playlist so the next song we have is broken promises this song is 
the breakup song. <laughs> the the I'm finally done, I'm finally over it, take your ish and just go. It ain't no coming back, no nothing. We officially done. Love this song. Beautiful. This at this point, I became happy because I remember when she put like when she put out the track list, it had different dates on it. The, like each day each year that I guess she wrote the song on when she was going through the particular situation that she's singing about and at this point I was like I'm happy now she's not suffering anymore she's not in pain anymore she's finally woken up and she's finally understanding what's going on if you've been a fan of summer you've seen the ups and downs and all of the stuff from the relationship all of that stuff and seeing her now at this point where she's in her current relationship happy that makes me so happy because you just don't I mean when it comes to your favorite artists you never want to see them in any hardship like you want to see them in in a very good place and not she She's finally there I feel like she's met her soulmate I haven't seen her having any meltdowns or anything like that since she's been with him you know most of the stuff she have to deal with is from her ex in his past situations a lot of times that tend to annoyingly come up out of nowhere she seems a bit more happier like my girl is on stage performing in front of hundreds of people like she don't really like to do that you know and she seemed to be a little bit more comfortable than she was before. So I feel like this new relationship is allowing her to be comfortable. It's allowing her to be more happier. It's allowing her to be more free. It's allowing her to be more, to feel more secure. And I just, sh shout out to him for making my girl happy. You know what I'm saying? The next song we have is one of my favorites on the album that I listen to um, quite often is session 33 session 33 is i love when summer grabs her guitar and she just sings i literally want a album or maybe a ep or a mixtape or something but it needs to be on streaming services that's all i know but i just want her to do an album where she literally just grabs her guitar and just sings because when we get those moments i'm just like oh my gosh like whoa like i have my guitar over there that i have and um i'm not a professional player y'all i'm learning how to play and i'm trying to learn this song in particular because it's so easy but i'm finding a hard time i think it's my guitar and the type that i have i have an electric guitar i need to get an acoustic talking about you never hear you never press i'm con i'm wanting something that i'm not i'm desiring and wanting something that i'm not even getting from you and we're not on the same page and you're not understanding anything so it goes back to the communication issues and always busy you always tend to other things but when it comes to me and your child it's like we play the back this song was really sad and i got emotional when i first heard it that's when it became real when 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 it came to session 33 she was going through it and i I feel, you know, I, I was in that moment, my empathetic ways was really kicking in and I was just like, damn, you know, that's messed up. So the next song is Fourth Baby Mama, the prelude, and it's actually sung by Sean Garrett and it sounds great, but he did really good. I really love it. I, I play that a lot too. Like I, before I play Fourth Baby Mama, I let that one play and then we head over to Fourth Baby Mama. Like it, it's always like that. So it was just saying like you know i'm your fourth baby mama all they know is what i was taking away from them and so the next song we have is fourth baby mama the actual song she's her being the fourth baby mama and having to deal with the other baby mamas you know she <laughs> the way she dragged london and his mama i was like Ooh. <laughs> i mean can you blame her though like could you blame her she should have whipped his ass you know what i'm saying this song yeah i love it this and bitter but i was watching an interview with sean garrick that he did I, I haven't finished it though but i'm gonna finish it he did an interview with angela yee for lip service and he was talking about the album saying how that summer didn't want to do the fourth baby mama song like he I, she didn't want to title it that and that's what made him do the prelude the way that he did to kind of like i guess convince her to to do it because i could be wrong i don't think he said that verbatimly but he did say that she did not want to title it fourth baby mama like she took pride in that like she did not want to and they basically kind of convinced her and begged her to do it so the next well not song sierra's prayer 
and Sierra is actually praying for a new man on the song. Like you start off the fit. It is like the way this album was put together was very strategic and re very thought out. So the first song is basically like you defending your partner, you holding them down. And at the end, you praying for a new one. <laughs> praying for a new one, you praying for a new beginning, you praying for a new start. I love that she did that. Cause you know, for a, uh, for a very long time, people was making like these uh, running jokes about Sierra's prayer. What was the prayer? We'll say to people, make up your own prayer. The prayer was good. And it's nothing wrong with listening to other prayers and having people pray for you, but create your own prayer. Um, Sierra pray for what she wanted. So pray for what you want. It don't have to be exactly what she said. Just make it your own way. You know what you want and what you desire as a person. So put that into your prayer. That's it. That's all the songs. I hope you guys like the video. Y'all comment below and let me know what you think of the album. What was your favorite? Um, what songs do you have on repeat? My shit currently, I've been playing um, No Love a lot. And plus it's been on the radio too. They've been playing it a lot on the radio. So yeah, I've been listening to that a lot. But y'all comment below and let me know what's your favorite. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And click the bell to be notified when I upload. I'm just waiting on the vinyl though. I really need that vinyl. I hope we get vinyl. Urban Outfitters, if you watching somebody at Urban Outfitters, let's get the ball rolling. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.